Archie and Prince Louis share heartwarming moment as beaming Meghan Markle watches on. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry's son Archie was the subject of an adorable moment delivered to him by his cousin Prince Louis. The two youngest royals shared the heartwarming moment in front of audiences at Billing Bear Polo Club in Wokingham, Surrey. The Sussexes and Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, were out with their children for the first time as they attended the event. The King Power Royal Charity Polo Day was held in honor of late Leicester City football club owner Vichai Sri Vadhanaprabha. But in the most touching pictures, Prince Louis, one, can be seen blowing a kiss to two-month-old Archie. Meghan shocked guests at the event by turning up to cheer husband Harry on during the game. She dazzled as she wore a khaki maxi dress and sunglasses. The two families' appearance was and comes amid ongoing speculation that they have been involved in a bitter argument. Royal fans were looking forward to seeing William and Harry, 34, at the polo but it was not known if their families would join them. Kate wore a pink dress teamed with wedges and a red bag for the day out. Prince Louis was also spotted running along the sidelines before Kate picked him up. William and Harry played against each other in the match. William and Kate's other children also enjoyed their time at the event. Prince George was seen to be playing with a polo mallet. Princess Charlotte opted for a kick around with a football. Archie's outing comes days after he was christened at Windsor Castle's private chapel on Saturday. Kate happy while Meghan shows glances of what looks like anxiety at the polo today. Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, both 37, appeared at the polo today to support their husbands Prince William, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, who were playing the equestrian sport. What did their body language reveal? Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton enjoyed the polo today, taking their children to the event to support their fathers. Kate Middleton was seen with her whole brood, a rare glimpse of the entire Cambridge family for fans. She clutched Louis, one, in her arms. George, five, and Charlotte, four, attended the grounds too. Meghan Markle, who recently welcomed Archie Harris into the world, was there to support Prince Harry. This is Archie's first public outing. The former actress cradled the little boy in a blanket. Meghan Markle wore a long khaki dress and sunglasses. What did the two women's body language show? Kate looked happy according to an expert. Body language expert Judy James said, with three small children to amuse and herd around and with Louis now hugely active walking about on his own, Kate, like most mothers of toddlers, looks totally absorbed in her role of protector and entertainer-in-chief. Relaxed probably isn't the word for her body language here but she looks happy but mindful as she tries to keep her eye on George and Charlotte while holding on to a wriggling Louis. New mother Meghan, on the other hand, looks concerned with the new addition to her family. Judy said, Meghan's body language ranges from besotted motherhood as she cradles a much more serene baby Archie and smiles down at his face or kisses his head to some glances of what looks like anxiety as she appears to stand alone waiting for Harry. Her sleeping baby appears to be her whole world here and in between some idealistic and very loving poses between the three of them she appears to be looking protective and slightly new mother wary as she cradles Archie in a blanket. Meghan Markle's christening for Archie Harrison took place this weekend. Prince Harry was accused of looking a mess by Twitter users. Harry wore a pale suit with a light blue tie and brown shoes, but one Twitter user criticized the look. They wrote, Charles and William appropriately dressed in dark suits. Harry looks the usual mess, inappropriate light suit paired with brown suede scuffed shoes and black socks. Another agreed, and said, it looks terrible. Kate and Meghan were not the only royals out today. Sophie Countess of Wessex was at Wimbledon. She wore a blue dress with a bold pattern. Sophie kept her jewelry simple with a cream cross necklace and stud diamond earrings. She also wore a large chunky silver watch on her left wrist. Letting the dress take focus, Sophie wore her hair off her face and pulled back into a bun. The royal line of succession, who outranks who? The line of succession to the British throne dictates the order in which each member of the royal family would ascend to the throne. It is also seen as a ranking of importance with the head of the line, 
the queen, taking the place of ruler. Older children come before younger children. Traditionally boys came before girls, but this law was changed on March 26, 2015 before the birth of Prince William's first child. Incredibly, Catholics are still excluded from the line of succession, as are children born outside of wedlock. The royals, who usually stick to a strict protocol when appearing in public, often arrive at events in ascending order of importance, with the most important royal arriving last. Prince Charles, 70, is currently second in line to the British throne, followed by Prince William, 37, his oldest son. Then comes Prince William's children, George, 5, Charlotte, 3, and Louis, almost 1, and they are followed by Prince Harry, 37. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's child Archie Harrison comes next.